Hi everyone, my name is Seema and I am a storyteller. Today I am going to read from a wonderful book called Mr. Grizzly's Christmas. Yes, it is December and a perfect time to read a book on Christmas. Now who is Mr. Grizzly and what is it all about? We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> In Bear Town. Oh, oh, so this is a story about bears. In Bear Town, everyone loved getting ready for Christmas. Who doesn't enjoy Christmas? Everyone except for one grouchy bear. Grouchy bear? You know, a bear that has a long face, that's always not in the mood, not happy, angry and sulking. But why would a bear be angry? Why would a bear be grouchy? And that too during Christmas. Oh, look at this. Here, there are three shops. One which says a sweet surprise coming soon. What shop could it be? The second one and in the center is Mr. Grizzly's bookshop. And the third says little paws the first choice for bear cubs. I think it is a shop for bear cubs. That is all the, you know, the baby bears, the children of the bears. Dear shop. And look at this. This is a pop-up book. You can see in inside is Mr. Grizzly with his books. And if you see close, it says... No sweets in the shop. <laughs> Obviously, you cannot eat sweets in a bookshop, but let's find out more. Mr. Glizzly ran the town bookshop and was famous for his bad temper. Oh, oh, bad temper? Meaning he was always grouchy, isn't it? Always angry, always sulking, not in a good mood. He especially hated noisy, messy bear cubs. <laughs> he hated bear cubs, those that were noisy and those that were messy. Stop touching things. He would shout at any cub unlucky enough to wander into his shop. Now is any bear cub which would go into the shop would just have to touch a book and he would say, stop touching it. Your sticky paws, you know, the bears have paws like your nails, the paws, your sticky paws are ruining my precious books, ruining, meaning spoiling my books. After a while, all the bear cubs were so frightened of Mr. Grizzly that they stopped going to Grizzly's bookshop. It was left only for grown-ups, just the way Mr. Grizzly liked it. He did not like children because they had those sticky paws and they would spoil his books. And so he want, he got exactly what he wanted. Only grown-ups, you know, the mummies and the papas, only they visited his shop. Can you see? So many books, all books being read by older people. And since this is a pop-up book, you can see some interesting things. You can open a book and read what is inside. Interesting, isn't it? Uh-oh! Mr. Grizzly also hated Christmas. Not only did he hate children, he hated Christmas. This year, it was going to be even worse than usual. Mrs. Claus had opened a sweet shop next door and sticky, giggly cubs were everywhere. You remember in the first page, we had seen some sweet surprise coming soon. That shop turned out to be Mrs. Claus' sweet shop. Oh, oh, such yummy, yummy, so beautiful. Look at this yummy, yummy sweet shop right next to Mr. Grizzly's bookshop. Uh oh, no wonder he is very, very angry or grouchy. Two days before Christmas, Mr. Grizzly noticed a little bear cub standing alone outside the bookshop. Why aren't you in candy cloths buying horrible sweets like all other clubs? He demanded. He wanted to know because no children walked into his shop. So he knew that all the cubs would go to that sweet shop. Why aren't you going there? He demanded. 
I can't said the bear bear cub sadly I don't have any money oh oh this poor bear cub the little bear did not have money so it couldn't go to the chocolate shop well you can't stand out there all day said mr grizzly gruffly you know in a <coughs> okay come in come in he said i suppose you'd better come in and look at the books i hope you're not sticky are you he asked the little bear cub here you can see mr bear cub else was he just saw that little bear cub and you can see this wonderful look at this this is mrs candy claus sweet you know the van in which she takes all the sweets and of course you have the bear and the little bear here and he asked that little bear to come inside his bookshop how wonderful isn't it now let's see what happened next the little cub said that his name was steady my name is steady he said and he loved books oh oh even more than sweets i had a favorite book when i was a cub like you said mr grizzly obviously mr grizzly also he you know he has a bookshop he must have loved reading as a child so he said i had a favorite book when i was your age I can't think where it has gotten to. I can't find the book. I had forgotten about it actually, you know. He said and searching after searching in piles of dusty books, Mr. Grizzly found his favorite story and he read it to Teddy. How sweet. Suddenly there was a knock at the door. You can see here how Mr. Grizzly the grouchy bear is not so grouchy anymore he is reading a book and look at little bear cub teddy he is listening to the story just like you are listening to me isn't it and then there was knock knock oh oh knock knock and the door opened let's see who was there oh why here you are teddy cried mrs claus Mr Grizzly in the spirit of christmas i am going to the school to put out a little party would you like to come she asked please come mrs grizzly said teddy so mrs claus the sweet shop owner was throwing a party for christmas and she invited mr grizzly over to the party but mr grizzly the grouchy bear he normally doesn't go to parties isn't it but now both mrs claus and little teddy said please come can you come so will mr grizzly go to the party looking a bit grumpy but picking up his book of stories mr grizzly agreed to come to the christmas party at the school mr grizzly did not frown even once this party was at the school campus so he did not smile he did not frown even once earlier he wouldn't smile even once now he did not frown even once what happened to him when it was time to leave an overjoyed mrs claus gave her new friend a big bear hug perhaps all the cubs will now be allowed in the bookshop she asked will you please allow all the bear cubs inside the bookshop she just wondered she thought look at this what a wonderful party and there you have mr grizzly reading out from a book to all the bear cubs and so maybe things will change wondered mrs claus but that evening mrs claus got a shock mr grizzly had closed the shop mr grizzly she cried knocking on the door it's christmas eve how will people buy their presents what if someone wants to buy a book as a present you have closed the shop come back tomorrow he shouted grumpily and then carried on banging and clattering so he was doing something inside the shop there was a lot of noise banging clattering means books falling down all kinds of sounds sounds were coming but why had he closed down the shop can you see 
the shop is closed. Oh, oh, let us find out what happened suddenly to Mr. Grizzly Bear. The next morning, the whole town got a huge surprise. Merry Christmas everyone, cried Mr. Grizzly, welcoming them all into his neat, bright Christmas bookshop. From then on, cubs were always welcome in Grizzly's bookshop as long as they wiped their paws, wiped their paws first. So this is what he was doing. He cleaned his shop. Can you see how neatly he has arranged it? He made it look like a Christmas bookshop. He even has a red sofa on which he sat like Mr. Santa Claus. He's reading books to children and look at all those bear cubs coming in and reading and listening to his stories. But only thing, they had to wipe their hands for you cannot eat a sticky sticky chocolate and then touch a book. It will get spoiled, isn't it? Oh, and look here. It says, I love books. Happy Christmas. And look at all those children climbing up to read some books. So this was a wonderful book, isn't it? Of how that little cub Teddy changed Mr. Grizzly from a grouchy bear to a warm, friendly one. A wonderful book to be shared on Christmas. Happy Christmas to all of you. Thank you.